Yo no, yo digo que se acabe. Era pico. Como es la fila. Era pico. Hi guys. We are here once again. Today we are preparing rano soup with a cookie. Face the wall. We have granuts, we have fish, we have earrings, we have a beef, to beef. Then to mom to salt, really, and our spices. And we have our meat seasoning here. Yeah. We are about to start. Okay, we are about to start. Exactly what you do. We are about to start. First, we are going to work on the granite. Okay, so we transfer that into our bowl. So, we are going with the water. So, you mash it with the water. So, it's completely combined. Now you add in your uh, tomato paste. Mix that nicely. Okay. So we'll mix this nicely. And then we'll set we'll put this on fire. So now at this point we'll cover it and allow it to uh, steam. So our ground paste has been boiling for a bit now. You can see the oil is beginning to come out or it's being extracted. So that's the main purpose of like this procedure to be able to uh, get the oils to come out. So we've been able to get some good amount of oil. Um, yeah, so we're going to move on to the next step. So after going through that process, you put, you pour in some water and mix. Now we're going to strain this to take out any lamps and maybe if some burnt parts are in there, they all come out. So now we're straining in our blended tomato and pepper mix. Um, you notice that my mom didn't go with the traditional route where you drop the tomatoes inside and uh, have it boil and become soft. You can do it that way or you can just go directly and blend them. It really doesn't change a lot. So, um, so because we did the process of having the granite um, steam on its own and then extracted the oils, it really is about 50 to 60% done. Now we're just gonna put in the meat, the, the meats, the fish and then the welly. This is a salted beef. And then the dry herrings. So finally, we pour in our steamed beef with the stock. So everything goes in there. And uh, we leave it to boil for a bit. Then we can continue to add in our willy and dry fish. We're going to put in the, the willy and the, the garden eggs and the okra and the green peppers. So we're going in the, the willy first. 
This one fresh got an X. And the going to open. This right here is a uh, fracaser. We, we are lightly toasting it so that the oils in the fracaser can come out and the flavor intensifies. So we we'll toast it or so we we'll roast it for a bit, about one to two minutes. Then we we'll rinse it nicely and then put it in the soup. This um, intensifies the flavors in the soup and makes it really uh, flavorful. So we're adding the fricassee now. And we allow it to do its work. Then we go in with the onions and the bakushito, scotch bonnets. So we put it in the fish now. Okay. I really don't know the name for these fish. Oh. <laughs> so apparently it's go here. This one is tuna. Okay, then there's tuna going in. And the almighty <laughs> Ghana salmon, which is actually mackerel. But yeah. So, yeah. So, soup is ready. You can see how the oils are all around. Makes it have a really nice look. Then with some salt, and then let it do its work. Yeah, so we used salted beef when we start, so you want to be careful when you're adding salt. You don't want to overpower, uh, make the salt overpower the soup. Yep. So our soup is ready and uh, we're about to begin the cooking tea or the habit here or face the wall or Gigi. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. So our water has been boiling for a while now. So what you do is usually you want to um, boil a lot of water and then take some and put it on the side so that it starts cooking it and it's, it's hard. You add some more water onto it. This is a lot of manpower. You have to be really fast with it. Thank you. 
Ok. Lui de la musique. So this is what it's looking like now. When you pour the water on it, you just break it up for the water to soften it up before you go again. In case you don't know, Kokonte is somewhat the senior brother of Fufu. <laughs> oh, junior brother. But junior brother. Because this is um, dried cassava, which is blended into a powder form to, to be able to achieve this. So it's something like a neat Fufu, but then more. This has flavors intensified in there because it's dried. Very soft. And the reason why you want to do it pretty fast is you want it to be loose, like very soft. How is it trying? You want yeah. to be <laughs> <laughs> do it very fast. Oh. You are taking turns. <laughs> Okay, so it's done now. We'll dish it now. Okay. We're gonna dish it now. I'm tossing it nicely. So there you have it. Our cooking tea is looking. Our cooking tea is looking really nice. I'm gonna serve this with a soup. And yeah, done. So we're gonna serve the soup now onto the kokonte. All done. <laughs> yes, all done, Nina. So there you have it guys, granola soup and coconut tea. All right, so it's now time to taste the 
is amazing. Alright, let's jump in. Have you had this in like years? Five years? <laughs> 